My name's Will, and this is Will to Read. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a monthly wrap-up video, but before I get to that, I'd like to thank Juan over at the channel Plagued by Visions for giving me a shout-out in a recent video. If you're watching this and are somehow not familiar with this stuff, he makes really well done, thoughtful videos, mostly about horror. I particularly liked his recent tribute to the mangaka Kentaro Miura, who I will actually be mentioning later on in this video. Uh, so thank you again to Juan, and to all of you who came over from that video, uh, welcome. Okay, so the first, the first book I read this month was The Burning by Bentley Little. I've already talked this book to death on this channel, so I'm only going to express that I didn't like it. If you want to know specifically why I didn't like it, you can watch my review from last week. The point is, uh, I was very disappointed. Up next is The Great Explosion by Eric Frank Russell. Uh, I'm again not going to discuss this one too much, because I already filmed a review of this, which will be posted next week. But this was very fun. I enjoyed it immensely. The reason there's a bookmark in it uh, is because my roommate is in the middle of it, because I was raving about it a bunch to her, and she wanted to see what the hubbub was about, I guess. Uh, next is The Intimations of Death, which is a collection of horror stories by the Belgian humorist Felix Timmermans. Uh, I've only read the first two stories so far, um, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bit underwhelmed by the plots. Uh, however, uh, I do really like Timmerman's uh, writing style. He describes stuff in these really over-the-top and unique ways that I really like. Um, it reminds me a bit of, like, really old-style, like, gothic tales, particularly of Poe, really, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, so I do still have some hope for this becoming a favorite. Yeah. The rest of the books that I read this month were comics that I took out from the library. I won't be able to show some of the covers in person because, well, I returned them. But uh, I'll put pictures up here somewhere in the editing. The first comic I read was Streets of Paris, Streets of Murder, Volume 2 by Jean-Patrick Manchette and Tardy. It's a collection of two collaborations between the two, like a sniper lining up his shot and Run Like Crazy, Run Like Hell. Uh, both are adaptations of novels Manchette had published previously. Uh, Tardy, for those unaware, is a legendary French cartoonist who I've been meaning to check out for a while. Uh, I love his art style here. Uh, it's very fun. However, I do think that these comics get a bit too wordy at points. Uh, I very much land in the camp that comics are a visual medium and thus should communicate as much as they can through the art itself. There are quite a few scenes where things were written which could have easily been illustrated, but uh, I did really enjoy this overall. Uh, up next, I read Michael DeForge's most recent collection of short comics, Heaven No Hell. Uh, Michael DeForge is one of my favorite cartoonists working today. I love his sense of humor, and I find his art style very fluid and extremely unique. There is a reason why he's so well regarded within the indie uh, comic scene. I mean, I mean, look at this. Like, this is just a random page, but like, God, I, it's like the colors and just like, I don't know, every, it's just, it's really good. It, yeah, I really like his art style. Um, it's a collection. So the stories range in quality, but they're all really solid. I would highly recommend it. Uh, next, I read the fifth Berserk Deluxe Edition, which collects volumes 13 through 15. As hinted at earlier, Berserk's mangaka Kentaro Miura died early last month, and news about it came out a few weeks ago. And I'd never read Berserk, but I'd heard nothing but praise about it from a lot of different artists that I follow on Twitter and Instagram. I also had watched and loved the 1997 anime adaptation of the first story arc, so when I saw Mira had died, I was like, well, 
now's the time to get into it. Uh, unfortunately, quite a few other people had the same thought, so I wasn't able to get my hands on the first deluxe edition from my library. Uh, I would have been pretty far down a waiting list. So instead, I decided to start where the anime ended for now. I do plan to go back to read it later. Uh, and yeah, this series lives up to its reputation. I can't think of an artist who draws motion as well as Miura does. I also love the character designs and the little minute details that he's able to get across. It's great. Just read it. Just read it. The last two books I read, I'm going to talk about at the same time because they're a part of the same series. I've been on the JoJo's train for a few years now, but I'd only really watch the anime. I decided once Viz started putting out part four to read that because it's the only one I haven't watched, and I'd heard that Araki's style changes over the course of it, and I thought that'd be interesting to see. And it is! Josuke starts off as this big, beefy rectangle of a man, and ends as, well, a twink. Actually, oh, actually, wait. He's in high school. Maybe I shouldn't call him that. Anyway, uh, y y you get my point. Um, I read specifically volumes uh, 7 and 8. Uh, it's amazing. This is shaping up to be my favorite part, but uh, we'll see because I still have one more volume to go, and the endings of parts 3 and 5 are what soured me on them a bit. But I'd highly recommend reading uh, this part anyway, because Araki is a master of the craft. I think only other cartoonist as good as him at drawing fashion is Akira Toriyama, and even then it's only a maybe. Uh, Araki's imagination and characters are so unique and interesting, I can't express how much I love them. Uh, my only criticism is that the dialogue can get a bit wordy, but uh, I also feel like JoJo's wouldn't be JoJo's without it. So, who am I to say whether it's truly a negative or not? And that's a wrap on May. Uh, I was thinking about doing another TBR, but it, I didn't really stick to the last one, so I'm not going to do those anymore, at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, I do like coming up with themed reading lists, though, so I might do a few of those in the coming months. Uh, as I said, the next video is going to be a review of The Great Explosion by Eric Frank Russell, which will be up next week. Uh, so I'll see you then. For now, uh, bye.